So I already went ahead and I ripped down our boards to four and a half inches wide and I cut them to 35 inches long. This is just out of the leftover tamarack flooring we have from when we built the house. And now we're gonna use our hand router and we're gonna chamfer the edges. And to do that, I'm just gonna make a test piece first to see how what the depth is on the chamfer I want on just a regular piece of pine. It's a little cold out today. It's about, I think it was 17 degrees out. I lowered down the table on the router so we can get a little bit of a wider chamfer going. So that might be a little bit too much now. So we're just gonna go back and maybe just go halfway back and get a little happy medium. There's about halfway between the two. Setup of doing anything, like the prep work, getting ready, usually takes the longest, but you'll appreciate it in the long run. So like, I mean, I could have just done a little bit of a chamfer, I wouldn't have been happy with it. Then again, I tried this one, it would have been too much and I wouldn't have liked it. So just take your time, find the right look for you. I'm wearing gloves today just because it's camera act stuff. When it splinters, it can give you a nasty splinter and it really hurts. I've got a few when I'm doing the flooring. Just because you don't have a workshop doesn't mean that you can't do something. Just be resourceful. I don't have a workshop set up here yet, which is fine. I'm just using the tailgate of my truck. Might be a little cold out, but we want to get the project done. So let's do it. Don't worry about it. city in it. I want to be able to have the electricity running in it and have the nice boxes and 
when you're in the inside of the cabinet, you're not gonna see any boxes that are not gonna be exposed. It'll all be inside of the two by four wall. So what I did is I went ahead and I cut all my two by fours for the bottom plates. I just cut all my upright pieces. Now I'm gonna put the two end walls together. So at this point, we're gonna take our two plates, bottom plate and top plate, make sure they're going the right way. The best way to do it is to work up against the wall. Grab your uprights, put them kind of all in place. And put all of our uprights in place. I'm just using two and a half inch deck screws. Make sure you're on your line. Make sure your ends are flushed up nicely. The nice part about having up against the wall is it gives you something to push against. Now I'm just gonna go ahead and I'm gonna repeat the process 